If you've seen a message that looks like this, or if you've just happened to notice that your Sony HLG footage looks terrible and blown out once you get it into Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you how to fix all your footage fast in one batch. Here's some footage that I shot on my Sony a7 III at a local food drive, and as you can see, it looks like complete garbage. This only happens when I drop it into Final Cut Pro. On the previews, on my laptop, on my camera, everything looks fine. I have no idea technically what's going on here. All I know is that I want my footage to look right and grade right and work just like any other footage that you would get out of the camera. When I first ran into this problem, I started by fixing each individual clip and it took forever. I found a way to batch this process and I found that it really speeds up my workflow. First, make sure that your HLG footage is in an event by itself without any other footage. As you can see, I have some GoPro footage here which I put into a different event. Select one of the clips in your event and hit Command A on your keyboard. This is the shortcut to select every clip in the event. Now you wanna click on this information icon up here and go down to this drop down menu and go down to settings. Once you're on settings, you wanna find the drop down that says color space override. Currently off, you wanna go down and set it to rec 2020. That's it. Every single clip that you had selected is now fixed. You'll be able to work with it and grade it like you would with any other footage. Quick disclaimer, Final Cut did release an effect called HDR Tools in an update. And while it works okay, I found that it doesn't quite bring back the original look of the footage without some tweaking. And you're still fixing individual clips or copying and pasting effects. Personally, I love to shoot with the Sony HLG Picture Profile because it has a great balance of dynamic range while still being fairly easy to work with and color grade. You may have noticed this is my first tutorial on YouTube, so if you found this information helpful, if you think it's gonna save you some time, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe, that will help me out a lot. I'd also love to hear from you guys what other tutorials you'd like to see me do in the future. I'm a full-time freelance filmmaker and so much of what I know I learned from right here on YouTube. Now, I wanna use this channel to give back. I wanna help young, aspiring filmmakers take their work to the next level. That's it, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave me a comment on what you wanna see in the future.